All right, let's uh, let's wrap this up. Last one: the Texas A&M Aggies, nine and four last year, five and three in Jimbo Fisher's first season. Returning starters, they got seven coming back on offense, four on defense. Experience returning, they're number ninety-seven in the country, number ten in the conference. Over under is seven and a half. Over is minus one fifteen for the juice, minus one hundred five for the under. Head coach Jimbo Fisher, ninety-two and twenty-seven as a head coach over nine years. He won the first bowl game in four years and beat LSU for the first time since A&M joined the SEC in 2012. That game still pisses me off. <laughs> offensive coordinator Daryl Dickey returns quarterback Kellen Mond. Four out of five offensive linemen, a ton of skill experience. They lose tight end uh, Sternberger and running back Travion Williams. Uh, defensive coordinator Mike Elko, he gets back uh, defensive tackle Justin Matabuki, who... I had to research how to say that name last night. I had heard it so many times last year. It's been so long in the offseason, but Madubuki. Uh, and he's fantastic. I mean, no. he's other world type talent. This team's um, got some talent. But that's that's it for the front seven as far as returning experience because he's the only one. Other than that, you got three out of four back in the secondary. They were the number three run defense last year, number 32 total defense. Uh, they had 37 sacks and 100 tackles for loss. They were top 15 in both categories. 2020 is the year, right? Like, in 2019, because of the schedule, because of the lack of experience on defense and whatnot, uh, you're going to get back basically everybody um, next year. They've got zero senior starters on offense. They have got only one senior starter on defense. The schedule is brutal. They do have a lot of talent. I think next year is the year that they're, it's a, it's a, it'll be a, senior, a very upperclassman-led team in 2020. This year, though, like, it would not shock me whatsoever to see this team go nine and three. I've got them eight and four, uh, but that's all of the losses that you would expect, right? At Clemson, Alabama, at Georgia, at LSU, I've got them beating everybody else. So, but you don't have them beating a single team that they would be even with or a little bit dog. I've got them beating Auburn and Mississippi State, but they're better than Mississippi they're, State. They're better like, than that. Uh, yeah, that's that's who I've got them beating, and I've got them beating South Carolina. Um, Definitely not even either. But I, I don't think I don't think they beat Alabama. I'm not picking an upset here because I think I think their defense is going to hold them back a little bit. They're still talented. Just they, they didn't no, start still, last they're year. They're still talented. I'm with you, but I mean, and that this is this is my prediction. That's right. I've got them eight and four, but I think as far as talent goes, this is a a top fifteen team in the country. But the schedule is absolutely brutal. I got them ten and two, and I think they could easily be eleven and one. As you, you are a firm believer, huh? I, I really like this team. I think Jimbo's a really good coach. Oh yeah, I agree with that. A really good coach. I, I agree think with he's that. got a really good team. Uh, my, my their father, schedule, their my schedule is believes. brutal. Yeah, my 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 dad thinks the same thing. He said, "I think they might beat Alabama. I think they might go in and beat Clemson. Having I, Bama at home is 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 really good for them." Oh yeah, I agree. So, I agree. Having to go on the road at Georgia, at LSU, I think they lose one of those games, definitely. I don't know that they beat both of them. You think they beat Clemson? I would love to see it. But we'll see. I, I don't have right. that. I don't have that. Yeah. I mean, that's that's just tough. That's going on the road. Like, that'll be the biggest game. I got Clemson 11-1, and one, but I got no idea where that loss is coming yeah. from. There I just I just don't like giving teams undefeated. I just... No, that makes sense. It makes sense. All right. So that's going to wrap everything up. Of 130 course, teams. 130 teams. We have knocked them all out. I'm Good out. gracious. All right. Of course, go and check out all the other previews. Uh, we will have a ton more stuff. We're going to work on NFL going forward. We're also going to be doing our college football picks, our previews, everything else going forward. If you're on YouTube, hit that subscribe button. If you're on Apple Podcasts, hit that subscribe button. Leave us some comments. Leave us some reviews. Share the show out. We do appreciate all of you guys tuning in. We will see you again very soon. Go to tunicatravel.com. Go to winningcureseverything.com. Thank you. Thanks for checking out Winning Cures Everything. If you want to keep up with us, hit subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. Visit the website at winningcureseverything.com. Or you can like us on Facebook or follow us at Winning Cures, at Gary WCE, or at Chris B. Giannini on Twitter. Share out the show, leave a nice review, and make sure to comment and tweet at us.